Hi, Terry here again. This week I've been thinking about a phrase that I read in a book on writing. Um, I don't forget if it's Zinzer, writ, a book written by Zinzer or Shrunken White, but it goes something like, no amount of clear, accurate writing can make up for an unclear mind or unclear thinking. So clear writing cannot compensate for unclear thinking. Um, it pops up because I've been struggling with an article I've been trying to write and I just can't, I couldn't get it right. It just didn't come together. I couldn't, what I call, get to the sigh where you write something or you say something or somebody's listening and they reflect back what you're saying and <sighs> yeah, that's it. That's it. I couldn't get to the sigh. And then I realized it was probably and turned out to be indeed because my thinking wasn't clear. I couldn't put it down on paper well because I couldn't think about it clear. So I've been since writing, writing and drafting and pondering and wondering, um, moving, trying to move toward thinking that's clearer in my myself and once that's done then I can get back to the article to write up the article but it occurred to me too one of the things that I yearn more for is discussions or um, groups or classroom settings or some some or counseling sessions or something where I have the ability to share something and then somebody, rather than saying, oh, I disagree, what are you talking about, what about this? They say, this is what I'm hearing you say, but, and here's, what, how do you think about this? Or is this what you're saying? But a discussion where each person gets to share their unclear thinking and just say, hey, I've been pondering this. And I am learning to cherish those relationships. For example, with a Dan, who I can share things that are muddled, things that I don't, I'm not saying because, yes, this is the way it is. It's more, this is what I'm pondering. This is where I am. And to have people be able to pick up on that and reflect it back or to share some maybe a little different perspectives or, or help me come to a clearer understanding or say, it's okay to be muddled. And I've been watching a little bit on Facebook as I post some things or repost some things, a couple of, a few responses. One is people that resonate with it, and that's great, and say, yeah, that, that, that resonates with me, or people who maybe ask some questions or, or create a little bit different perspectives and so on. But then there are those that um, agree or disagree very strongly. And it's like um, almost a feeling that um, what you wrote is naive or stupid or wrong or ridiculous or whatever. And it seems to me as though that's not as helpful. It doesn't mean I have to agree with everything. It doesn't mean that people have to say, oh, it's Terry, so his thinking must always be clear. <coughs> oh, trust me, my thinking is not always clear. But if I have to only post those things on Facebook or write articles that I say, you know, this is, this is the way it is. This is my solid belief or conviction. That really limits my ability and others' ability to move toward clearer thinking. Um, I don't expect to come to a point of certainty. I, I don't yearn for some sort of either-or certainty. I'm sure about this. What I yearn for is clear, clearer thinking, self-awareness, um, being able to see things from different perspectives and but not moving into my corner that I need to defend. So again, I'm, I yearn for those settings, for those people, for the, for the ways of writing or journaling or sitting and breathing and meditating that, that help me get clearer, not more certain. I, I, I do make a distinction there. 
<clears throat> my idea, my hope is not to have discussions that make me more certain of convinced, but clearer on my thinking, clearer on my uncertainties, <clears throat> clearer on my areas that are simplistic, <clears throat> either the either or dualism, you have to believe all this way or all the other way, or these things are good, these things are bad, these people are in, these people are out, these groups are whatever. Sorting all this kind of stuff. That, I don't, I'm not looking for people to help me sort. I'm looking for people to help me and people that are open to entering into discussion that we together become clearer. Because um, it's, it's the I, I hope to become clearer but I hope also that I can find um, relationships or groups or settings in which we can become clearer together. That doesn't mean we all agree. It means that just by being together, um, we're each and all together clearer on things. So, so I don't know if you have those relationships. I hope you do, where you can share where you're coming from, what you're wondering, maybe some conclusions that you've come to, but enter into those relationships or, or experience those relationships in such a way that you go, oh, hmm, I guess I am saying that, and huh, I hadn't thought of it that way, or, you know, I thought I had it figured out, but man, I have a lot of things, or I have some assumptions that are pretty broad and, and maybe not full enough. So cherish those relationships with me. And I am searching for them, a relatively new environment in Holland, you know, trying different places, different classrooms or different groups or different relationships with neighbors where that happens in my life, where they and I can get together in such a way that we both come out maybe a little bit wiser, um, often humbler, <laughs> um, where it's necessary, maybe a little more muddled and saying, you know, I'm just not sure about that. So cherish those relationships with me, would you? Talk to you next time.